bit more. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel everybody. I am uh, watching dad take his time getting the chisel plow on the TM. Yeah, you got it now. Got it. Finally. <sighs> right mug, isn't it? You got the right, oh, Nick's farm mug. I'm the right mug, I think, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> it fits in the cup holder. Yeah, but surely the coffee spills out. No, it doesn't. It depends how fast you go. <laughs> These are available for sale. All proceeds go to me, to dad. <laughs> Right, I'm off to do some chisel plowing again. I've got a little bit to uh, finish off this morning. So yesterday when I was chisel plowing with the John Deere, I worked off that end of the field and then this end, leaving the bit in the middle. The reason being is this ground in the middle is a little bit more kinder, so I want to get the worst bits done first. So yeah, I'm in the TM 165, the best tractor, although I don't have the GPS today, so I can't do it the lazy way. We've got our man Ray here, he's at the other end of the field with the John Deere, so he's got the GPS. He's uh, He's got the easy job for the next couple of days. He's going over what I've done with the seven leg, the cousin's seven leg subsoiler. And this hole has Ray had his lunch joke that we've got going on. We've actually got a system now where Ray would put his beacon on, you know, his flashing light whenever he's having his lunch. So I can just look across the field and see if his light's on, but I know that he is having his lunch. I do love it when there's two tractors working in the same field. I just sent the drone up as well and I didn't see Ray's beacon on, so I'm not sure if he's had his lunch yet, but I'm gonna have mine in a minute. So I think I'll turn on the flashy light when I do, that way Ray will know that I'm having my lunch. Dennis the Menace lunchbox, does it get better than that? Yes, it does. I got a twirl. Oh yeah. Right, let's turn on the flashy light. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's pretty tough on these banks. Over there, where I was yesterday, I kept breaking shear bolts on the chisel plow. It's just uh, quite a stony field, especially over that end. This whole side of the farm is just covered in limestone, and there was some real big bits under the ground. So yeah, I, I get breaking shear bolts every like five minutes. It was ridiculous. Something quite interesting that my granddad used to say was the stone from this field was used to build the local village. Now, I don't know, you know, to what extent that's true, but there is a lot of stone here, and you can even see dips in the field from where they've obviously dug out the stone. But yeah, the TM is doing a good job. Pulling the chisel well. It won't be long now until I've got this finished. but a kit for a long time. It's got the old Dyna drive out then, have we? Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty old, 1980s model. Good bit of kit over the years. Yeah. It's pretty much pretty much worn out, but uh, you're going to try it in this 10 acres of, of beans, aren't you? Yeah, or, yeah. Potential bean ground. Yeah. See if it, chips, chip, chips and black grass. Chips and black grass. If it works, uh, we might knock a bit of uh, a bit of uh, ploughing down or a bit of uh, bit the cultivation, cultivation yeah. down. Yeah. We quite like this on the forks. A, it's easy to bring it round, isn't it? And yeah. It's easy to grease, isn't it? This is the four meter one. So as, um, on the rotor, we've got. Uh, Grease there, grease here. It's chain driven, ground driven by the rotors um, itself. So there's a, a chain and, and gears in here. Yeah. But they, they all leak. And there's much of gear oil in. And it's got a certain amount of gear oil in. We bung grease in there. We bung grease in there. Yeah. The casings have all been worn. Uh, I think these here have been tacked on over the years. I've got a feeling some of that's power plow parts. We used to run power plows. Yeah, yeah. Too. That rings a bell actually. About, yeah. About that, yeah. Um, really good with the kit. And the ties don't wear out. No. Uh, it's sort of like a power harrow without the PTO, isn't it? Sort of yeah, land it's land driven. Yeah, and it makes sort of about 50% job of a power harrow. Sometimes yeah. you don't want it to be too fine. It's actually just right for chitting, uh, you know, straight into stubble. If it's not too too hard, yeah. probably be plenty enough for it. But uh, they're free, aren't they? This side's the worst for leaking. I mean, it could be repaired. You could, you know, take all this off and, and see what's going on. It might just be an oil... oil <laughs> you got it the might. giggles? I've got, got the giggles I've got the giggles again. It's probably a, 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 an oil seal, isn't it, there? Or, um, I always thought the, the, case, the casing itself, you know, had caught the ground or worn or something, or both. See, these have all been put on. Yeah. I think there's the original skid, look. Up there, you see it. And so th this is all... All been yeah, put on, yeah. yeah. This um, uh, crumbler roller was n not a great success. It doesn't, for memory, knocks the bearings out, Nick. It's quite quite a width, isn't it? So we'd have to give plen put plenty of grease in these two bearings and hope, hope they, they sort of hold. You want it on a uh, an old Ford, really? Really go 80s. Yeah, yeah we used to run it on the old, <laughs> old, old, old Ford TWs. Yeah. And uh, good bit of kit, Nick. It covers some ground. To put it onto cultivation, I mean, it, it, there's 100 acres it could go and do if we feel like it, of that sort of um, slightly rougher cultivation. Yeah. Maybe we ought to just consider it. I think it's going to rain in a bit of weeks' time, so it would catch the rain better, wouldn't it? It would. I'd yeah. encourage the black grass a bit. It's a, it's a real job out there, but everybody's finding the same. Um, you, you cultivate, ready for the autumn, thinking, well, I'll get it down to a point where black grass will probably chit. Yeah. We get it too fine. Yeah. And if it, if, it, if it comes a lot of rain, uh, it goes like a load of um, pudding, doesn't it? It does, yeah. yeah. So yeah, definitely a two uh, two person job greasing it, isn't it? <laughs> the end's gone a bit funny, isn't it? What your end or <laughs> my end's fine. Quite a bit gone in. That's a funny angle, Nick. That's got it, isn't it? That's got it. Bomford and Evershed Limited, Evesham. I recognise Evesham from other uh, Bomford bits of kit. Yeah, I've been there a few times, but we were showing the old Bomford hedge trimmers. Where is it, Worcestershire? 
Worcestershire, yeah. yeah. This is your technique. <laughs> well, <laughs> so gear oil should go in here, really, shouldn't it? It should. But we put grease in there. That's your. Um, I'll have to use that head, though. That's your handy tool. It's remarkable how it fits. I'll get, I'll get one. He's excited now. Go on then, Dad. Run through your technique of getting grease in there. Basically, a cartridge. Undo it, both ends. <laughs> Just fits in there. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's perfect. Like a glove. <laughs> and then pop that in there. <laughs> like that. And just push the grease in. Push the grease in. Looks all in. It's all in there. It, dead easy. Should we do the other one? Same. Yeah. Straight into there. Gently. Almost there. Aren't we? Almost there. If I just push that last bit in. Oh. We're there. Yeah. I push it a bit in. Look, it's fine, isn't it? Look. I'll just get these little bits. That's it. Yeah, try that. Yeah, it's clear of the ground, that's all right. Should we try it then? We'll try it, yeah. Wiggle on your head. I've got the goggles. Goggles. Gator goggles. Gator goggles. Are they good? Yeah, they suit you. I don't need them in the cab, do I? You won't need them in the cab, no. It's quite dry. It is quite dry. Maybe on a tram, I am on a tram, yeah, that is going to make a bit of a difference. Okay. So, what do you want, nosing in slightly? Yeah, is it nosing in? Right there. I really can't tell. Well, it's not being heavy. It's going to be shortened, I think. It's not that little either. You just need to be exactly where it is. Yeah. It's going to shorten the top leg. Oh, that's better. That's all right. We'll get out in a minute, see what it's doing. Yeah. What about the depth set? The depth is set, yeah. Just get out, have a look. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. I think you found a bit of soil, haven't you? Yeah, a bit of soil. There's yeah, a bit, look, of, bit of moisture there. If you look, if you scratch your hand all over it, you actually create a bit of a tilt. There's more there than what you think. I think it's pretty good. See what it wants to roll it. Press that down, down. Yeah, it could roll it. Yeah, definitely. That'll, that'll encourage seeds to grow. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, it's not uh, just a little bit more moisture in the soil. It would have worked a little tiny bit better. Be yeah. Probably a little kinder on the machine. It is quite dry, but you can feel a, a bit of moisture there. You've done something. Yeah. yeah, there is a bit of a bit of a tilt going That's on. That's what you're looking there? for. Yeah. Yeah. Shell, then we're just trying to encourage black grass to come through so we can get a good kill on that before we drill winter beans. It'll be beans going into this field, and yeah, it's doing a cracking job. The old Dyna drive, I mean, we've got an old set of discs we could be using, but to be honest, I think this is doing a slightly better job than the discs would do. It's creating a nice bit of tilt, but I think Dad's right, we want to preserve that moisture, what little moisture there is in the ground, so. Rolling it after I've done this isn't a bad idea. So this will be the first time growing beans for quite a few years. And I think the problem with beans is the chemical control, what you're allowed and not allowed to use. So, you know, giving them the best start possible, getting a good kill on the black grass. At least that way, you know, we've done everything we can do. But yeah, it's not doing 
too bad of a job considering how old it is and the fact that we just pulled it out, greased it up and bunged it on the tractor. sunshine now so yeah a good job for a Friday afternoon